namaste and welcome to india yoga arogya series today we will going to share a practice for varicose veins the varicose veins is a one common problem majorly for women in the later age for men also and this is quite normal you can see also during pregnancy it's quite normally happens too and origin a lot of people suffer in the later age of their life but this can be easily overcome in strengthening of the veins and arteries of the lower part of the body it particularly experiences in the lower part and today we will have a few simple techniques which can be taken off very easily and regularly worked it helps and make sure your mukhadhoti and agni sara regularly into your practice and it really helps to stabilize well and that can be the link followed up down there and the next techniques you can work is in a padangustasana and padahastasana stand up lifted and keep the legs approximately shoulder distance wider take the hands on the waist exhale and bend front and grab your big toes and kind contract the pelvic floor slightly and pull the lower abdomen actively the next exhalation maximum bend front with the contracting the perineum and lower abdomen breathe mostly from chest and clavicular and make the feet firm and very well gripped and be there for around 1 to 3 minutes and then smoothly raise the head and rest the palms under the feet and extend the trunk and exhale and bend front here also engage the perineum and the lower abdomen actively and give a good length on the spine i'm breathing mostly from chest and clavicular once it is finished smoothly lift the head and slowly take your hands slightly ahead bend the knee and go back to adomukha svanasana bend the knee and walk back to adomukha svanasana and then softly go down sit down to baddha konasana from there and bring the feet together feet firmly press each other and spine uplifted and this is the key asana for your varicose veins and one has to be exp- stay and practice this few times a day not once and uh, like if you are sitting and watching your tv or watching your phone or watching your tab you can do that you watching the reading a book utilize this this can helps i don't know how many of you heard about it it's a cobbler always use this book and a position cobbler never gets so easily the varicose veins and that's why it is one of the very effective practice to prevent varicose veins always remember in this the feet has to be firmly press each other many times we work the feet open the feet like in a book and that is not going to be as effective as when the keep feet the pressing each other strongly in case back hurts you always can use the wall and sit against the wall and you can use this and try to stay longer and longer and more and more deeper and then also in between if to stretch if your knee hurts or back hurts you can stretch your legs into wider to upavishta konasana then slowly spread into the right leg to the right and left leg to the left and softly go front as far as you can if you comfortable you can hold your big toe and stretch front otherwise you can keep the hands in front of the chest and you can stretch front this is also very helpful to reduce the, the varicose veins and repeated and multiple practice of this and slightly look front and slowly always when you finished bend the knee and softly you have to bring back the next technique we are going to work here it's called the urdhva prasarita padasana and slowly lie down on your back and raise the legs you can work on the single leg or double leg and stay here for around a min- minute to two always start to playing here and this is always helpful in case it is too difficult you can always do a leg raising breathing that is another way of working into that and that helps and also here in the other way you can do it there are four techniques which really helps to build this it up raise it up 90 degree and hold against the wall and after doing that like you know around a minute you can spread the legs wider for around a minute in this and legs are split and stay here for around a minute when then finished slowly bend the knee and bring the feet together and hold it the press this each other similarly what we had into the uh, baddha konasana same position you can be worked here for another minute and then you can also release that and bend the knee and keep the feet on the floor and setu bandhasana position of the feet 
and hold here it is also very helpful to release it then release the legs and relax and slowly go up to sarvangasana a sarvangasana is mother of all asanas one of the very powerful practice for anyone have any varicose veins raise it up 90 degree and hold it anything between 45 seconds to a one and a half minute and you can do the raise in a halasana followed by that also helps there and once you are being here another 45 seconds to in a minute then slowly release the back and keep the feet together and press each other arch your back and bring the crown of the head on the floor paryankasana or matsyasana with the baddha konasana which will be very helpful also and for the spine as well as in the feet very cause when really helps to overcome very well in this and then slowly release and relax in this okay and then you can just relax in shavasana when you relaxing also you can always make sure keep the feet together supta baddha konasana it is called the resting in supta baddha konasana is always in a powerful for people suffering from varicose veins you can keep one hand below the navel other hand above the navel and resting this and repeated work on the baddha konasana i my main stretch here to apply your baddha konasana multiple times in a day compared to any other asana but that keep repeated and if it is like you know lying down you can sit against the wall you can meditate with baddha konasana or study with baddha konasana your choice and you have to build that up and gradually and steadily and it's but always make sure it is no one i did one day two day no if you each day if you do it at least two thrice a day before breakfast before lunch before dinner as a routine apart from that see whenever you get time you want to rest go to supta baddha konasana feet together and lie down or you want to study sit against the wall and the feet together apply baddha konasana multiple time also all the other standing asanas are very helpful i gradually and steadily applied they will develop very strong the veins and arteries which is normally helps to improve the the veins health that will be a regular yoga practice if you can follow up and apply to yourself can be making a huge difference into your varicose veins issues and uh, hopefully you likes this and you will uh, the practice continuously before any conclusion make a three practice a day before breakfast lunch and dinner 21 days then you speak and if you have any doubts and question any time you can pass to us we surely will respond to you so and thank you for watching and if likes it please share to your family and friends dhanyawad